Hi, this is N1DID and I'm going to show you how to make a real fast and easy fox hunting antenna. This isn't going to be the best, it's not going to be like a Yagi or a Doppler shift antenna or any of those things, but it'll get you going with some stuff you have around the house. Let's start off what you need. First off, you need a pair of box cutters because we're going to use cardboard. Second, you need a box. This is a, a box from my last move when I moved from California to Connecticut. And all we're going to do is we're going to cut this panel out. After we do that, we're going to start rolling it up. Okay, so that's done and I got my panel. And the next thing we're going to do is roll it. Now, because we don't want you know, we don't want it to be all edgy and stuff, although that's not going to really matter much. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put some scores along this side. Actually, I'll do it on the inside because I'll put this on here. And we're just going to cut that top layer a little bit like this. So it makes it a little easier to fold it. You don't want to cut all the way through because then you got to start over again. But if you just do the scoring part, you'll be just fine. But here you can see how the scores look. You can add more of them, that'll make it a little better. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a tube, just like that. Okay, so basically, let's get started. I'm going to use a form. Let me show you. I'm going to build it around this piece of PVC pipe. Now you're going to ask, well, why don't you just use the PVC pipe? Well, you could, but first of all, it's expensive, uh, a lot more expensive than cardboard. The second thing is um, it's heavy. And for what we were going to be doing, we don't really need anything that's heavy. Now, if you don't have a piece of PVC pipe laying around, I got this thing of uh, bungee cords from uh, Harbor Freight. You can use that container. I got some... Uh, Let's see here. How am I going to get that out without, uh, well, let me try it this way. Container of tennis balls. For those of you who have tennis ball launches, you probably have one of those laying around. You can just mold it around that. It doesn't matter how long, how big around it is. By the way, you can also use a one quart paint can. You can use, oh, I don't know, any other thing you got laying around the house that's round. Okay, so once we got that figured out, then we're gonna we're gonna use some duct tape, and we're gonna make it around container. Here we go. Okay, we got our tube. Gonna take the PVC out. Now we got this real lightweight tube. It's not perfectly round, but it doesn't have to be. But it's really lightweight. By the way, you'll notice I used some uh, blue painter's tape. Uh, I thought to myself, why waste duct tape? I had a, had a roll of that, the blue painter's tape laying around, so that's what's on it. Next step, we're going to go up to the kitchen. Okay, now we're in the kitchen. Got my tube. Got a roll of aluminum foil. What we're going to do is we're just going to take out this aluminum foil. By the way, you could use a whole rule of aluminum foil. There's no rules against it. It would work pretty well, but cutting through it in the next step isn't the greatest. So we're going to take and roll out our aluminum foil. Let me put the camera down here a little bit. I've got my... Well, that's a little bit too high, too. So got my aluminum foil, and I'm just going to take and start wrapping this thing in aluminum foil. I prefer to use heavy duty aluminum foil, but I thought I'd use the cheapest stuff I could find, which is the generic brand that you find in the grocery store. Get about 
maybe three, four layers of it going on there. And what we're doing this for is we want to block the signal. We want to attenuate it, but we also want to make it somewhat directional. basically got something that's going to attenuate the signal for us. I'm going to wrap this up with some tape as well. So here we are back in the garage again and uh, I got my tube all covered with aluminum foil as you can see. Now the next thing I need to do is we're going to cut a hole, a slot, uh, preferably not on the tape. and. I'll explain the reason for this a little bit later, but that's going to give us directionality, and that's a good thing when you're trying to fox hunt. Okay, carved out the hole. I'm actually going to probably put another piece of tape in the middle here just for support, and this will be directional, but you're not in the way you think. Um, what's going to happen, and I know this because I built this before, is this slot when you point that slot in a direction, you're going to hear, all of a sudden, you're going to hear the signal drop. It's going to drop like a rock. And the reason is, we've got a parabola here. In other words, with this round surface, signals are going to come in here, but they're going to bounce back and focus, just like a satellite dish. That focal point is going to be further beyond the antenna, and guess what? The antenna won't pick anything up. So I'm going to go out and test it. It's raining out, so I don't think I can film out there because I don't want my phone getting Five, wet. Four, the N1, K, K, N, repeater. Got the repeater turned on, too. But the main thing is, we're going to null out the signal. And um, it's going to be interesting, so I'm going to test it and make sure it works exactly like I think it is. And then we'll be golden to go. Fox hunt. So here we are back in the garage again, and it worked exactly like I thought. So let me put, let me turn this around. If I put my HT, I got my trusty Whiskey 32 here. I put my HT inside, and guess what? Heard everything just fine. Now you're gonna say, but what about all that aluminum foil? Well, we're just using it as a reflector, not to attenuate the signal. Although it will do that to some extent as well. But as soon as I turned it around like this, in the direction of the fox, guess what? Didn't receive a peep. And then I knew exactly which way to go, and I could track that fox down with no problem. And what does this cost me? Maybe, oh, I don't know, dollar worth of aluminum foil and tape. So there you go. Fox hunting, made simple. N1DID, 73 everybody.